Stefano and welcome to OMG Tech's Construct 3 video tutorial. Today we'll be making a platformer about being a kaitiaki of the land, or a guardian. In this game, we'll be picking up rubbish and putting it in the bin to save the environment. To get started, we're going to open up a web browser, and we recommend using Google Chrome, and we're going to go to www.construct.net, or click the link in the description of the video. Once you've arrived on the home page, we're going to click the Try It Now button located here. We'll then click the green Launch Now button, which will take us to our game making page. For this game, we're going to be making a new project from scratch. So we're going to go to the top of our screens, and we're going to click the New Project button located here on your screen. We're going to give our platformer a name. I'm going to name my project Kaitiaki Platformer. Now that our project is named, we're going to choose a preset. Now we're going to choose SD Landscape 16x9. And finally, we're going to click Create, which will create our project. The first thing we're going to add to our game is a background. Now I'll be adding a sky with some clouds. To get started, we're going to right click on our screen and we're going to click Insert New Object. We're going to scroll down and we're going to look for Tiled Background. We're going to name our tiled background Sky. We're going to click insert and then click anywhere on your screen. Now that we're in our image editor, you can see we have various tools to paint with and also a color picker to pick our colors. Now I'm going to be choosing a light baby blue and I'll use this slider here to make the color darker or lighter. With your color selected, we're then going to select the fill tool, which is located here, or simply press F on your keyboard. To paint with the fill tool, Simply click in the square in the middle of the screen. Now it's time to add our clouds. We're going to select the brush tool or press B on your keyboard. We're going to take our slider located here and then we're going to drag it all the way to the right to make our color white. Then we can use our brush tool to simply brush on clouds on our background. Now you can decorate this background however you like. I'm just giving you an example. Once you've finished brushing your clouds on, we're going to go up to the top right and click the X to close. And then we're going to drag our background to the top left and we'll just simply make it the same size as our background. Let's add a platform to our game. To add a platform, right click in the middle of your screen and click insert new object. We're going to scroll down from here and we're going to find sprite and click on it. We're going to name our sprite platform and click insert. Now click anywhere on your screen to start painting your platform. Let's choose a color for our platform. I'm going to choose green and I'm going to use the slider to make it a darker color. Once you're happy with the color you have, click on the paint tool and click in the middle of your square to color your platform. Now that we've made our platform, let's arrange our world. We're going to start by dragging our platform to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and resizing it using the transform handles. Let's add some more platforms into our game. We're going to do this by following the screen arrow and we're going to click on platform and we're going to drag it into our scene. This will give us another platform to work on. Repeat this process to get as many platforms as you want. Our goal is to create platforms that go from one side of the screen to the other. Now that we have our platforms in place, we need to make them solid so our player can stand atop them. To do this, we're first going to select one of our platforms. We're going to look under the Properties section in the top left hand side of the screen, and then we're going to find Behaviors. Click on the Behaviors button to open up the Behaviors dialog. Once you're here, click on Add a new behavior, and we're going to click on Solid Behavior. Now that our platform is completed, let's add a player to stand on them. To create our player, we're going to do the same method as we did to create the platform. We're going to right click in the middle of our screen, insert a new object, scroll down and find sprite, and we're going to name our sprite player. Click insert, and then click anywhere in the screen. Let's choose a nice color for our character. 
I'm going to go with the dark blue. So I'll pick my color and then drag my slider across to find my blue. Click on the fill tool so we can paint our square and then click anywhere inside the square. Now let's decorate our character by adding some facial features. So the first tool I'm going to use is the ellipse tool. You can click here or use T on your keyboard. And then I'm going to drag the slider across and select white and I want to draw some eyes. Now it's your turn to decorate your character. Be very creative and decorate it however you want. It's your game, so it's up to you how your character looks. Once we're finished making our character, we're going to go to the top right hand corner and close. And then we're going to drag our character onto one of our platforms and we'll use the transform tools to resize it. You don't want your character to be too big or too small. Now that our character is ready, let's give it some life. We first need to select our character and then we need to go to our property section which is at the top left hand corner of our screen and in the property section we're going to find behaviors and click on it. We're going to click add a new behavior and we're going to scroll down and find the platform behavior. Click add and then we're going to add yet another behavior and this time we're going to add the scroll to behavior. Now it's time for us to test our game for the first time. So we're going to look up here at the top of our screen and we're going to click the preview button. This will open a separate dialog where we can test our game. Use the left and right arrow to move side to side and the up arrow to jump. Now it's time to add our first piece of code into our game. To do this, we're going to either go to the top of our screen and find the event sheet one tab, or looking in your project property section, you can find event sheet one there as well. To add code, we're going to simply right click in the middle of our screen and click add event. We're then going to double click on player. And using the search bar, we're going to try and find the event is outside layout. This code will tell us when our player has fallen through the map so we know to restart the game. Now let's add a new action at the end of our event by clicking this button here. We're going to go system and then we're going to use our search bar again and we're going to type in restart and we're looking for restart layout. Now what this code says is when the player is outside the layout, restart the game. Let's add some rubbish to our game for our player to pick up. Now the rubbish I'll be making today is a can. To get started, we're going to right click in the middle of our screen again and we're going to click insert a new object. We're going to scroll down and find sprite and we're going to name our sprite rubbish. Click insert and then click anywhere on your screen. Using the drawing skills you've learnt so far, create a piece of art that looks like a piece of rubbish for your player to pick up. Once you're finished making your object, we're going to look to the top of our screen and we're going to click the crop tool located here. This will remove any excess white space. Now that we're done, click close. Now that we have our rubbish, simply move it onto your screen and resize it. And just like we did with the platforms, click and drag as many pieces of rubbish as you want on the screen. Now it's important to have a lot of rubbish to pick up so the game is more fun. Now that we have rubbish everywhere, let's give our player a way to clean it all up. To get started, we're going to head over to Event Sheet 1, again by clicking the tab at the top of your screen, or by clicking Event Sheet 1 in your project section. To add our code, we're going to right click in the middle of the screen and click Add Event. We're going to click Player, on collision with another object, and we're going to click to choose, and we're going to choose Rubbish. Let's add an action to our new piece of code. So we're going to click here, add an action. We're going to select rubbish and we're going to destroy it. So let's search for destroy and click destroy. We have rubbish now, but we have nowhere to put it. So let's create a rubbish bin. We're going to right click and insert a new object. We're going to choose sprite and we're going to name our sprite rubbish bin. Click insert and click anywhere on your screen. Now just like we've done before, I want you to use your colors and your tools and draw a nice rubbish bin. 
When you've finished your rubbish bin, don't forget to use the crop tool to remove the white spaces. Close your picture, and now we're going to put our rubbish bin at the end of our level. Now it's time for us to add the final piece of code, which is after we collect all the rubbish and put it in the bin, we need to go to the next level. To get started, we're going to head over to Event Sheet 1. We're going to right click on our screen and add a new event. Our event is going to be player on collision with another object. And we're going to choose the object and we're going to choose rubbish bin. We need to know if our player has collected all of the rubbish yet. To achieve this, we're first going to right click on the green arrow of our code and we're going to click add, add a new sub event. So I'm going to show that again, right click on the green arrow of our code, click add and add a new sub event. Our new sub event will be when rubbish and we're going to search for is on screen. So we need to know if rubbish is still on the screen. Now we have code to tell us when the rubbish is on the screen still. But we need code to tell us when it's not. So we're going to right click on this new code that we've added. And we're going to click add. If we scroll to the bottom of this list, we should find add else. This will give us a statement which tells us when there's no longer rubbish on our screen. Let's now add an action on the end of our else statement. And it's going to be system. And we're going to search for go to next layer. Make sure next is selected. And the final step is to click done. All right, Fano. for our last video, I'm going to show you how to add new levels to your game. To get started, we're going to go to the top right hand corner of our screen under the project section. We're going to right click on layout one, and then we're going to click duplicate. This will create layout two. Now let's double click on layout 2 and we'll start editing. Begin rearranging the platforms and rubbish on the screen to make the level a bit harder and a bit more interesting. Once you've finished editing your level, go back to layout 1 and try it out. Now when you collect all of the rubbish on each level, you should be able to hit the can and move to the next layout. Now it's time for you to create more levels, challenge your friends and challenge your teacher and enjoy yourselves. Thanks for completing OMG Tech's platforming tutorial.